Hello. So I'm doing this short video um, about how to install the emulator for the Mega 65. Um, the, the emulator uh, is called Xemu. Um, why I'm doing this? One, because I had lots of uh, issues when I was installing it myself, which uh, I hope you will not uh, face yourself and I want to help you to install it. And secondly, uh, because uh, I'm helping in the um, TRS, TRS-E Turbo Rascal uh, Syntax Seller um, and we have uh, added or we are thinking of adding because it's not there yet I mean we did some stuff but it's not there um, the Mega 65 uh, and so if somebody wants to use TRSC uh, for the Mega 65 using the emulator I want to uh, help you guys out and set up uh, this setup correctly so that um, you can start developing for the Mega 65 using TRSC or um, the assembler um, or doing something on basic whatever whatever you like but for sure you need the emulator and this is the aim of this um, uh, of this video to get you started in using uh, the Mega 65 So, we are now on the um, uh, website uh, to download Xemu, the emulator for the Mega 65 as mentioned earlier. Um, the emulator, okay, there are, first of all, there are versions of it for Ubuntu, Mac OS, uh, Windows, okay, 32-bit and 64-bit for Windows. There is also an installer, okay, 64-bit and 32-bit, and also a zipped version, 64-bit and 32-bit. Uh, what you need to know is also that uh, there's a stable version that is August 2020. Then, as of this video, okay, um, there is one that was committed yesterday, uh, and this is called Future Next Stable. Okay, so probably it has some bugs are still not complete uh, but it has enhancements over this one there's also a highly experimental experimental unstable dev so this is being developed right now um, so there's another uh, version and then there is an experimental version by uh, Hermans okay uh, regarding the Vic 4 uh, branch for the Mega 65 so I personally I'm going to download the installer for the 64-bit uh, Windows okay uh, because I want to have the latest version even though it might have some bugs but uh, I prefer to um, take that risk uh, it's up to you uh, what you want to select um, of course, uh, you, during the course, during the time, um, let's say in a year's time, this would, I hope, this will have evolved and it will be in a much better stable position than it is right now. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, we have downloaded uh, Xemu, okay? So, we will go and uh, step into installing Xemu. So now that we have uh, downloaded uh, Xemu, let's um, install it, okay? Um, remember we are installing this for Windows 10, um, of course 64-bit version. So let's install Xemu and we are challenged that we are installing something on Windows with an unknown publisher so we are just continue with it and you should be able to install Xemu. 
um, change this to um, I'm going to change it to D you install it wherever you want because my, all my programs are in D um, so I installed it okay and just to make you aware we should have something there you go we should have these three um, let's say um, XAMO emulators we only need this for the Mega 65 this is for the C65 the one that Commodore was released and this is for um, some LCD version of the C65 or something like that from all of all three only this we are interested okay so um, um, I will be discussing the Mega 65 emulator okay that's uh, basically it okay so now we have installed uh, as we have installed the XAMU you know, and we need to configure it somehow and we will need um, to go to the Mega 65 quick start and read the instructions that there are here I will provide the link for this however please note that XAMU needs the Commodore okay 65 ROM file and this is copyright uh, protected okay so I am not going to um, go into the detail of this but and this is where I will end um, just know that you need the ROM file for uh, XAMU to work now the next step is to run the emulator XAMU so let's run it for the first time okay and as you can see it's saying that it didn't find anything in our um, in in the default directory the user home directory um, which is in uh, your home directory updata roaming xamu lgb mega 65 mvrm.bin so now what we need to do is click OK, okay. Um, it's telling us that it didn't find um, the SD card image. Um, so it's going to create it. Okay, which it's telling us that um, we need to um, initialize the SD card let's put it this way or create it this is the button to create it so we are going to create it and now once we create it and once we format it the chatter is telling us that we need to press the right mouse button and go into the sub menu um, SD card update files um, it doesn't say press right mouse button but you need to press the right mouse button to go into the menu um, of course you have to be on the XAMU emulator so on the XAMU screen so let's do that let's um, do the next step which is format the SD card so we press 2 okay um, we continue and now we type exactly what it is saying okay um, delete everything and of course program tries to override SD card in sector so unless you have this crash format your card it's not something you want but in our case we want it because it's the first time so we need to initialize it notice the image is up here okay so this is why I left that window there uh, and right now it's doing it as soon as it finishes okay so now it's telling us to add the ROM so as I said you need to press right mouse button go to SD card update files on SD card okay click update choose the file and click OK it tells you that the SD card image has been updated with the Mega 65 ROM 
okay and some other files and there you go the mega 65 emulator is up and running and these are the files that it created it creates some more files once we exit actually from the emulator but they are nothing um but this is the mega 65 running okay so when we close it you're going to see some more files appearing on the desktop not on the desktop sorry in the directory okay um, as I said but those are all the files that you need to run the mega 65 if we do it again as you see now it goes directly into it so I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope um, you find it useful um, and if you like what you see please subscribe to our channel and also do a like uh, on the video thank you very much and bye bye